Hi there, Libra. This is Kim here to do a reading for you, and it's gonna be your next 48 hours. I have um, two cards, two decks blended from Cryon Oracle and Earth Revealed, Cryon 2, and then uh, we're gonna do a Celtic Cross for you. And thanks for coming. Thanks so much for the likes, shares, comments, subscribes. I appreciate the support. Let's get into this reading. So, calling in Libra's spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Four messages for the next 48 hours. Okay. Okay. Number four. Starting off with a four. Uh, blueprint of creation. Within Gaia are time capsules holding the blueprint and template of the starting creative energy. Their role is to help create an ascended planet. They are now buzzing with activity because humanity has chosen love and peace over hate and war. That is the power of love. Okay, and probably an emphasis on this card since it was in the reverse coming out. Six, connected with Gaia. With sacred design, this planet was given consciousness at the same time as humans were given divinity. You are connected with the planet in a very deep and profound way. Okay. So that's what I've got so far. There we go. Let's do a couple more. Okay. Finally, I'm Manifestation one. Um, old soul wisdom. I'm an old soul. I have vast knowledge and deep. I have vast experience and deep knowledge and spiritual wisdom. I am the hope of the planet and my, my magnificence is known to God. My God. And look, you got the blank slate or um, blank canvas. Right. You can paint anything that you want. This is always coming across to me here lately as like the Ace of Wands is being able to paint whatever it is that you want. Um, a brand new, brand new slate. So that is what I've got for the first part of your reading. Let's get into the tarot part. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, messages for Libra. Next 48 hours. Messages for Libra. This could be anything brand new and passionate, new passionate beginning for you. Whatever, if it's creative project, it can be love. Anything um, love and passion are kind of in, imbued in it. Okay, what is the issue here? It's about your pentacles. It's also about this being looked at as a blank slate. This pentacle energy. Ace of Pentacles, um, a gift from the universe. You may have already started. They're saying don't hold on too, too tightly, though, to this money, money situation. Sweet results await with the B. I think the main message is helping uh, others if you can. Some people have had some really abrupt changes with the tower up here. Um, what's the challenge? And this might be finding an opportunity or it presenting itself. The King of Cups is a challenge. So it's all about keeping the emotions kind of out of it when it, when it needs to be thought of, um, instead of just reacting. Could be about getting, um, advice from like a mentor or somebody that will help you if you're looking to balance out your emotions, something about that. Um, and, and kind of helps you maintain your cool, let's say. Okay, the heart of the matter for Libra as the five of the cups. Um, it's in the position of really needing to be released, right? This is, by the way, opposition tarot. So what I'm getting is it's in the position of being uh, the root issue is that we're clinging to some things from the past that we really just need to let go or be beneficial for us to let go of them. That can be anything to... What's the past energy? And then we'll do present and I'll clarify if we need to. I think this is past. Seven of Wands. Feeling kind of attacked, but going at it nonetheless. 
three of wands, um, you know, looking forward to this journey that you can see ahead as to what you're fighting for. So it might have been a little bit clearer about what you're wanting to assert yourself for or speak up, talk, yeah, speak up for, advocate, <laughs> talk for it and didn't sound right. What is the now moment here? Libra, Nine of Wands in the reverse. Somebody that made you upset, something they did was careless or immature. <clears throat> Could have been a Sagittarius energy. Let's get clarification on this Nine of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so I uh, knew what we were fighting for in the past energy and then the challenge is this king of cups so balancing the or maintaining your cool or balancing your mood what is the knight of wands in the reverse about to me it's usually like a careless person or immature wild person okay um i have rebuilding a t after a tower moment had already been passed so i have the tower but it's in reverse and the Six of Swords, like, you got away from a really bad situation here. And, and this is rebuilding because some you feel like maybe somebody was careless or made a, like, a oops, like, decision, like, something that happened carelessly. It, because of maturity, too. And the Hermit is in reverse. So this is about integrating what you've learned um, by being by yourself. And how it can help you with any opportunities that you may see or not see due to your thinking, right? Because we can look at this as a challenge to rebuild. Like the now moment is a challenge to rebuild after past careless decision or something that really I don't know if it was all um, maybe just more maturity. Or having to make a quick decision. What is the future energy looking like? So that could be Virgo energy here with this. Um, five of Pentacles. Ugh. So really feeling like somebody feels like an outsider. Like somebody feels not part. Uh, not part, not welcomed. Or like an outsider. Okay, your intuition is telling you that you're going to be fine, that you'll be set with the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like this future energy has a little bit of coming out of the Five of Pentacles energy, going from feeling like an outsider to going within. If you felt alone, you were going doing work within with the High Priestess. Gifts and talents and abilities came out, and then there's that Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, financial windfall, a win, it's something that you know independently you had to go without to understand and and um, appreciate this big amount right here in the future energy for you, which is glorious. And the Nine of Pentacles is usually about independence and self-reliance, but this one has, um, you know, looks like financial windfall and, and enjoying it with another person too. So Libra, how, what do we have for your position? I have, wow, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, after something that didn't work in the past, maybe with a business or a company or disappointment in somebody that had to do with this, um, you know, business or family finances, disappointment, uh, we let go of that and we took charge of ourselves and our own business, minding our own business. Um, whoa. I also have two of pentacle in the reverse. So there was a resistant to change. Um, and currently that's what your issue is, is if you can release this and then remember it's continual, be open to change, uh, the ways of doing things from versus the past. This is going to be really successful business entrepreneur energy here. Taurus energy to Pisces, Virgo. Hey, uh, so in your environment, in your environment. I have an Eight of Swords. The only thing that could stop you or give you a stalemate is by not making, uh, by not being decisive enough, by thinking of imaginary things that could possibly keep you constrained. So free your mind, free yourself. 
to go inward like this, find that the width, the wealth that's inside, and then you see it here reflecting on the outside. What's the hope or fear? The tower, well, the lightning, the lightning from the tower. Maybe you have a lightning rod this time, but it's like that, that lightning comes in and it's just an epiphany and it could be something you're fearing. Um, don't create it by fearing it and thinking of it more because of that. So what's the outcome? And that's not even the outcome, okay? You're going to be fine. Wow, you're going to get your 12 of Pentacles, actually. 13, 14. Okay, so I have the three of Pentacles here, but it looks like spiritual help and advice and guidance. Away from something being a tower moment that collapses, but yet just one that enlightens and lights up the rooms of the house. Like the whole mind is clear and it's like, oh, and there's your help. There's your help bringing some kind of justice to a work situation. You can see clearly now from mistakes made in the past. So we're applying that and we're closing out a major transformation, Scorpio, major cha uh, transformation or change with the death card. And the magician is like, this change is exactly what you've been wanting to manifest. It's awesome. This is a good reading. <laughs> there is an epiphany. It's called the Good Tower, and it's in your reading. And you are manifesting this, and this is whatever the heck you want it to be. All right. Great reading. Really, really, really energetic reading. Very happy for you and happy for your reading. Okay, practice. After a while, you'll dance on air. Practice makes perfect. You're almost there. Maybe that's about releasing you know, grudges and things like that. Be strong. When trouble seems to be brewing near, your inner strength will keep you clear. Also, intuitively, maybe getting hits on them. Mm -mm. Like a health thing within the family, there could be a care, like a worry or a concern. That might be what that Five of Pentacles is too. Um, it might be something that you're just intuitive about or just, yeah, have intuitive hit. Foolishness or games uh, when you couldn't see clear or somebody that's trying to get your temper up or get you angry. It says you are worried that by letting go of your frustration, those who are responsible will perceive they have one. Well, they have one. The only one suffering is you. And that is what I've got for you. So sending you love and light. Thanks, guys.